These animated cartoon videos are absolutely breaking the YouTube algorithm right now. And that's because kids all over the world love watching these types of videos over and over again. People behind these channels get millions of views and make hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month without ever showing their face. And the truth is, they don't even have any big team behind them. Like you might have expected, they all use the exact same strategy called YouTube automation. You might have heard about it by now, it's basically a process where all the steps necessary to create videos like these are done entirely by AI. In the past, to create animations like this, you would need a big budget and a whole team of animators, voice actors, editors, and so on, but the times are changing fast. You can create your first video in literally 10 minutes from the comfort of your home. And the best part, it's all completely free. So in today's video, I'll walk you through the entire process of creating animated videos like these, step by step, from coming up with your own unique story, generating the visuals, creating your own AI voice and editing the whole video together. And don't worry if you are confused right now. I made this tutorial as simple as possible so that literally everyone can do it, even those who have never used any AI tools before. Now, before we start, let me show you a quick example of what I was able to create in less than 10 minutes. In the quiet seaside village of Wind Whistle Cove, four-year-old Elsie lived with her aunt and uncle in a weathered cottage that smelled of salt and lemons. Each morning, as sunlight spilled across the rocky shore, she'd help Uncle Theo mend his fishing nets. Afterward, she'd stand on a stool beside Aunt Mara in the kitchen, helping clean the morning's catch. But don't get too excited. There is one thing you need to know before we start. To actually make money from this, you need to reach YouTube monetization requirements, which are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. This can take up to six months for a complete beginner, which sucks. But luckily, through my experience, I was able to find this website called Monetized Profiles. As the name suggests, they offer pre-monetized YouTube accounts. This means that the previous owner already reached 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. Basically, if you get an account from here, you would skip the whole six-month grind where you basically won't make a single dollar. And don't worry, they offer full warranty on all their accounts. So if anything happens, they will replace your account for free. But keep in mind, you don't need this to succeed. That's just what I and hundreds of other creators use when starting out. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And if you decide to buy one, use code GROW with AI and save yourself $20. Anyway, the first step is to come up with the story idea. Don't worry, you don't need to be a professional writer for this. What you want to do is head over to ChatGPT and paste this prompt in. By the way, to make things easy for you guys, I have made this document with all the prompts and tools we'll be going through in this video. It's in the free resources section in my free community. Just look for a link labeled 3D Stories and grab it. It's free, of course. So copy the first prompt from the document and paste it in. Before we hit generate, you can obviously change this prompt to create multiple different videos to keep your content fresh every time. Now hit generate, and after a couple of seconds, ChatGPT has generated an amazing story based on our idea. Now we will ask ChatGPT to turn this story into 12 different scenes and give us a text prompt for each one. We will also describe the details of our character like age, gender, color of hair, eyes, and so on after you are done with that hit generate. And as you can see, ChatGPT has provided us with detailed text prompts for each scene. However, I noticed that ChatGPT only put the character details in the first prompt. This would later on ruin our video because if the image generator doesn't have the exact character details in each prompt, it would generate something random instead, ruining our character consistency throughout the video. So what you wanna do is paste in this prompt. Basically, we are asking ChatGPT to redo the prompts and put the character details into each one of them. And as you can see, ChatGPT has added the character details to each prompt. Lastly, we need to make the story ready to be narrated, but we don't want to narrate the whole script instead. What you want to do is paste in this command prompt, then scroll up and copy the story. That's the first thing we generated right here. Copy it and paste it behind the command prompt and generate it. After a few seconds, you have your script that we will then narrate with our AI voiceover that I will show you how to do later in the video. And below that, we have our image prompt and we are done here. As you can see, we went from a story idea to generating the actual story generating the prompt for the visuals, and lastly, generating the script to narrate. 
With all of this ready, we can move on to the next step, which is generating the actual images. To do this, we are going to use a free AI image generator called Leonardo.ai. They give you 150 credits each day for free, so you won't need to pay for any subscription here. You can find the links to all of the websites used in this video in the description below. Before we start generating the actual images, we need to tweak the settings to get the best results. So on the left, click on Preset, and here select the Flux dev model. Now below that click on custom and select the 916 option. I like to set the number of images to 4, so we have the option to choose the best one. Now copy the first prompt from ChatGPT and paste it into this prompt box. And before you hit generate, you have to type 3D Pixar style behind the prompt. This will ensure we get the animated style we are looking for. Now hit generate. And after a few seconds, Leonardo has generated these absolutely insane images. Now what you want to do is repeat this exact process for all the image prompts. I'll speed up this process and get back to you once I'm done. All right, as you can see, I generated all the images and I have to say the results turned out better than expected. Now we can move on to the next part, animating the visuals. A couple of years ago, creating animations like these would take hours for a team of professionals. But today you can do that literally within a few minutes and for free, which is crazy and perfect for people like us. So we will use a website called Halewo.ai. Once again, they offer 100 credits each day. And if you are a new user, you will get unlimited generations for the first three days. So I suggest you take advantage of it right now. Once you are logged in, on the left, click on create video. And here you have two options, image to video and text to video. Since we already have images from Leonardo AI, select the image to video option here. Upload the first picture from Leonardo AI. And once it's loaded, head back over to ChatGPT and copy the first script and paste it in this prompt box here. This will ensure the scene corresponds with the voiceover, making the story feel more lively. Once you are done, hit create create. And after a few minutes, this is the result. And it's insane. It not only adds body movement, but camera movement as well. With that done, you have just created your first animation in literally a few minutes. Now what you want to do is repeat this exact same process for all the images. It will take some time, so I'll get back to you once I'm done. All right, now I have generated all the animations. And as you can see, the results turned out nicely. Now what you want to do is download all of them. Yo, G, what's up next? Hi, Anne. I must say the animation turned out good. Thanks, G. Did my best. But now it's time to generate the voiceover. All right, so for this, I will use a website called Eleven Labs. It's by far the best tool for the AI voiceovers. So head over to Eleven Labs and sign up with your Google account. And once you are in, on the left, click on Voices, and you will be presented with hundreds of pre-made voices to choose from. And since there are hundreds of them, I will show you how to find the right one. Up here, click on Narrative and Story, then click on Language and select English. And now you can see voices that perfectly fit the niche. So what you want to do now is go through them and choose one you like the most. There is really no right or wrong here. So you can go with any of these voices. Now you want to head back to ChatGPT, copy the first script and paste it in. But before we hit generate, on the right, we have these settings. And I suggest you don't change these settings unless you know what you are doing, since it can make the voiceover sound robotic and we don't want that. Now hit generate, and after a couple of seconds, your first voiceover is ready. I highly suggest you listen through the whole voiceover, since sometimes it can make some weird sounds. And if that happens, just generate the voiceover again. And if you are happy with the voiceover, click on this button to download it. Now repeat this process for all the scenes. Once you are done with that, we can move on to the next step. G, what's next? Editing. Thanks. So it's time we put all of this together. To do that, we will use CapCut since it's free and very easy to use. And yes, I know they are adding more and more stuff behind the paid plan. But luckily for you guys, to edit these videos, you don't need any of the pro features. So in CapCut, create a new project and upload your visuals and voiceover. Start off by dragging the voiceover to the timeline one by one. And please make sure they are in the right order. Now, as you can see, there are these pauses in the voiceover. Sometimes AI does this. So what you want to do is implement a little trick I'm about to show you. On the left, click here and select the split tool and make cuts like this every time there is a silent moment. Now go back and choose the selection tool. Select the silent part and delete it. Now do this on all the silent parts. Next, drag the voiceovers together. 
By doing all of this, you ensure that the voiceover has a smooth and natural flow, making the video more pleasant to listen to. All right, now drag the visuals above the voiceover one by one and make sure they are in the right order. As you can see, the visuals are longer than the voiceover. If this happens, what you want to do is adjust the visuals according to the scene they belong to. Anyway, the visuals are done, but leaving them with the sharp cuts isn't the best idea. What you want to do is up here, click on transitions and look for a mix transition, click on it and drag it between the first two clips. But applying all the transitions one by one would be a pain. So instead on the right click on apply to all and the transition will be automatically added to all of the clips. And lastly, to make the video truly come together, we need to add some music and play with the sound effects. For this, you need some royalty free songs because if you use songs from Cardi B, you will get copyright striked and that's a game over for you. Instead, I found this website called Pixabay. It's basically a big library filled with royalty free material. Basically anything you use from here is safe and free. So once you are in, simply click on music and here you want to type lullaby since we are looking for a song that would fit our story listen through a couple of them and choose one you like the most i like this one so i'll just download it by clicking on this download button and that's it you have your music ready now the last step is to add some sound effects to our story this might be something like waves birds and so on basically look at the script and figure something that would fit the scene for other videos it might be something like goats chicken sound you get the point adding these might be a small step but trust me it makes a huge difference in the end so up here, switch to sound effects. I'll look for a wave sound effect and listen through a couple of them. Once you found one, you like download it. Once you have all of them downloaded, head back over to CapCut and upload it here. You want to start by dragging the song to the timeline, adjust it so it fits the video and lower the volume. I usually set it around minus 15. Next, you want to add the sound effects. So drag them to the timeline one by one and carefully place them exactly where they belong and lower the volume so that it blends in. I must say, that's a killer video you have made in. You should be proud of yourself. Thanks, G. Now click on this big blue button that says Export, and here set the resolution to 1080p and frame rate to 60 to get the best quality and hit Export. Before I show you the final result, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and comment showing me your support. It helps me out a lot and allows me to research more of this stuff for you guys. And if you want any help from me personally, head over to my free community and ask any question you have. We currently have 1,500 members that I'm helping every single day. Anyway, this is how it turned out. In the quiet seaside village of Wind Whistle Cove, four-year-old Elsie lived with her aunt and uncle in a weathered cottage that smelled of salt and lemons. Each morning, as sunlight spilled across the rocky shore, she'd help Uncle Theo mend his fishing nets. Afterward, she'd stand on a stool beside Aunt Mara in the kitchen, helping clean the morning's catch. By mid-morning, Elsie would dash down to the shoreline with her pail, collecting sea glass and seashells shaped like moons and dragons. She spoke often to the gulls that circled above, calling them by name. To Elsie, the tide was a magician, and every ripple told a story. Driftwood became sea serpents, bubbles were mermaid laughter. She danced through sea foam with arms outstretched, twirling like the wind. The grown-ups in the village said she was just a child with a wild imagination, but Uncle Theo would wink and say, she sees what we've forgotten. Elsie held a world bigger than anyone could see, where every shell had a secret, and every seagull was a storyteller in disguise. 